Today we present to you the top characters in Drifters, ranking from the lowest to the highest. So be sure to enjoy. Welcome to Movies XD, and today we will be presenting you with our no top 10 Drifters characters. So before we begin, be sure to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and give a thumbs up. <laughs> Number 10, Joan of Arc, a fire wielder who became an end during her encounter with the Black King after Easy gave her a second chance at life in a new world after being burned by the English. She is taken to be a boy due to a body physique and haircut, being the first end to track down the drifters. Although her battle encounter with Toyohisa was a loss, luckily Toyohisa leaves her undead during their encounter, which later she fled. <laughs> Number 9, Anastasia Romanova, member of the Ends, a cool-headed woman, although having a great hatred for the human world, she has the ability to control ice. With her blizzard she plans to bury the world in it. She has a contrasting ability to Joan of Arc. <laughs> Number 8, Grigory Rasputin, member of the Ends, having the abilities to control beings at any distance, although requiring a lot of concentration from himself. He manipulates humans as puppets, includes him in the top 10, although he isn't really used much in the series as others. <laughs> Number 7, Kano Naoshi, a Japanese fighter pilot brought from the human world during the World War II. Although he made his decision becoming a drifter after he fought against the Black King's dragon while entering the alternate world. Due to his hatred for war and Black King puppets. Afterwards he became worshipped by some tribe of dogs after his plane crashed in their territory. He has almost the same behavior as Toyohisa. <laughs> <laughs> Number 6, Nasusu Ketaka Yoichi, the youngest human in the Drifters of age 19. He is seen with an arrow and bow, due to his skills in archery, the best archer who also controls the archery squad. He being the youngest of 10 brothers, calls himself the ugliest of them all. Although he is taken as a female due to his appearance. During the human world he served under the control of Minamoto no Yoshitsune before becoming a drifter. <laughs> Number 5, Gile D. Race, a deceased member who fought side by side with Joan the Ark. He was chosen by Easy and was sent to the Drifter's world where he became an end. Gile D. Race is seen handling a heavy weapon and possess enormous strength compared to the others. He also has super durability and endurance, as it's seen during his fight with drifters. <laughs> Number 4, Odin Abunaga, a lord who reigned during the Sengoku period and known to have conquered vast lands. He's known to have manufactured the weapon Arquibus, and is mostly seen using it during battles. 
he escaped a burning build in the human world and lives to an unknown world where he was chosen as a drifter by Muratsuki. Nobunaga is aged 50, known in the series for his incredible strategized tactics while controlling drifters and Arquibus squad. <laughs> Number 3, Hijikata Toshizo, also a member of the ENDS. Hijikata and Toyohisa are great rivals, due to both great skills as swordsmen. Hijikata has the ability to bring ghostly images of his dead comrades to kill his enemies. And also, he being the first to have survived a battle with Toyohisa, while also suffering Toyohisa a great injury. Number 2, Shimazu Toyohisa, a skillful swordsman. Although he isn't really smart compared to Nobunaga, he has an unrelentless determination to get whatever he wants. He's seen using an Odachi while carrying a Wakizashi in Tanagashima. In the series, he is taken as main protagonist, who is aged 30. He firstly became a drifter after escaping death between his clan and another, and was chosen by Muratsuki the owner of drifters. Known for his famous catchphrase. Now we presenting you with the top 1 in Drifter series, from the ENDS. Number 1, Blacking. A member and leader of the ENDS, taken in by Easy. Not really skillful, as he is with his powers. His ability makes his army limitless to his enemies, because he has the ability to restore to health the non-human armies. His main goal is to civilize the non-humans, while bring an end to the human race. Although his ability has seen offensive as seen with the bronze dragon, after he duplicated his cells resulting into cancer, having the ability to regenerate cells makes him the strongest. <laughs> Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button for more notifications from Moodle XP and give a comment below. Thank you folks and that is all for today.